in this video tutorial i'm going to walk you step by step on how to use the bybit app all right so if you're a beginner out there and you're wondering how to navigate about the bybit app this is the best tutorial for you because i will show you everything step by step with no steps skipped in this video okay so if you don't have an account with bybit already use the link in the video description to sign up for one and the reason why you should consider using bybit is because if you are going to be trading crypto bybit is the best exchange for you because of their low fee okay the low fee that bybit charges can actually help you save a lot when it comes to trading spot trading you know um, derivatives trading margins and the rest all right so with that being said use the link in the video description and if you do sign up with the link in the video description reach out to me on the telegram group and i will send you a link to claim a free airdrop to open either a long or short position that is worth up to um 500 usdt okay so sign up with the link and then contact me with the link in the video description via telegram all right with that being said so to get started once you sign up for an account okay just like every other exchange all right every other centralized exchange you need to get your kyc done all right so you need to verify your kyc and in order to get your kyc verification done all you just need to do is click at the top left here okay so once you click on the profile icon you want to scroll down to where it says identity verification okay um level one verification is enough for you all right for now level one verification except you want to start you know transacting with very high amount of money then you can go with the second level of verifying your address so just make sure that you come in there and click on you know verify get your bvn use your bvn to verify your account it's as simple as that okay and with your bvn you can easily verify your account and you know just take a selfie and that is all so once you verify your account the next thing you want to do is to make deposit into your bybit account if you want to trade if you want to you know use the bybit and tap or whatever you want to do you need to first make deposit into your bybit account okay so there are two ways to make deposit one is to either deposit a crypto from an exchange you are using already or from a wallet you're already using or you can buy usdt from the bybit exchange and exchange it to you know um, any asset of your choice so in order to make deposit you can see there is a button here that says deposit okay you can either click on that button to make a deposit or just click on where it says um assets okay so you can just click on assets here and make deposit so if i click on the asset you see that it brings us here so you have your spot wallet you have your derivative wallet your copy trading wallet and all of this so we'll just click on make deposit so once you click on make deposit here all right it will bring you to this page so you want to select the asset that you want to deposit which asset do you want to deposit in this case if it is usdt go ahead and select usdt all right so once you select usdt it comes up this way first you want to select the network of the usdt you want to deposit i always recommend using the trc20 okay because it's the cheapest or the bev20 whatever but i prefer trc20 so select trc20 whatever network you want to use to make your deposit once you select the asset you select the network an address will be generated for you so you can copy this address okay by go and then go to your wallet and send whatever funds you want to send there so if you select usdt and you select trc20 make sure that from the wallet you're making the deposit you're equally using usdt and trc20 all right so that you don't lose your crypto so once you do you make your deposit your deposit will be you know directly deposited into your spot depending on the settings of your account it can either be on your spot wallet or on your derivative wallet all right if you want to transfer funds from one wallet to another then you can use the same on the asset uh, tab here okay just come to transfer and then you just click on transfer let's say i made a deposit to my spot wallet and i want to start trading um features okay so what i can do is to make sure that i transfer that asset so first you select the asset which coin do you want to transfer if it is usdt go ahead and select the default here and then select usdt so once you select usdt you want to select the account you are transferring from okay is it from your funding wallet or your derivative wallet now if you bought usdt using p2p you want to transfer from funding wallet to derivative or to your spot wallet okay but if you made a deposit then you want to transfer from your spot to any other wallet you want um your asset to be okay so if i click on the arrow on the funding wallet here you see that i can select from any of this wallet from the end account spot account derivative and the rest 
okay so if you want to transfer from spot i can just go ahead then here you just click on max okay you can just click on max to or you put in the amount you want to transfer here and then click on you know um confirm down here once you confirm the transfer will be made and that is how you can transfer funds from one wallet account on your bybit exchange to another all right so now the next way you can actually um get crypto into your bybit account is to use the um buy crypto option all right with the bybit p2p so if i click on it all right so it tells you that one click buy p2p trading or fiat deposit so if you click on the one um, p2p trading on the p2p trading option you can now select okay those who are selling you see different prices of those who are selling so let me just um, close this you see different prices of those who are selling this is how much people are ready to sell one usdt for you okay so you see all of these different prices and then you go ahead and choose whatever price you prefer another thing you should be looking at is you know the orders which the persons have completed okay and then the um, completion rate okay the percentage the orders this person has come this person is actually have been a while i've been trading here for a while so another thing you should look at is the transaction limit okay here is from sixteen thousand to around 500k okay so from 3 million upward so you see all of this deep limit those are the things you should be looking at so that when you want to buy what let's say 100k you cannot be buying from somebody who is selling from you know 3 million and above so you want to sell from somebody who can sell within that range of what you're looking for okay so you just go ahead and click on buy all right so once you click you see anyone you like click on buy and then you put in the amount you want to buy here and then click buy all right an account number will be generated for you make a transfer and the money is credited to your account immediately all right so p2p on buy bid exchange is not something that takes a lot of time if i click on the buy button again all right so you see where it says um one click buy this one you don't need to start searching for who has the limit of what you want to buy okay buy bid handles this automatically for you so once you click on buy it tells you to put the amount you want to buy so once you put in the amount let's say you want to buy 1000 2000 or thereabout automatically the buy bid exchange will merge you with the next available mission to make those transactions with you that is it okay so it's as simple as that all right okay so now you now have crypto in your wallet or in your buy bid exchange so the next thing you want to do is how do you use this crypto okay so i'll just go ahead and show you all of the features that bybit has offered here so on the home page here okay you see where it says trading pair these are the top trading pairs okay you see them here um with their percentage their prices okay you can navigate to the left or right to see all of the changes here so if we now scroll down you have these different menus here all right if you want to start any passive income with the bybit and you can go ahead and click on bybit and if you want to participate in the bybit nft a marketplace you can go ahead and click on nft if you want to participate in the bybit web 3 um you know project you can go ahead and click on web 3 if you have gained any reward from the bybit exchange you can assess those rewards by clicking on the reward hub all right then if you want to start earning cash back by referring your friends all of that you can get access to that using the end cash back here then if you want to copy traders professional traders okay and earn from you know passive income from the trades that those uh, traders carry out for you you can use the copy trading option then if you want to start using trading bots the bybit trading bots to trade okay to do auto trading then you can go ahead and use the trading board if you click on the trading board here you see different options that you have here okay you have the spot grid um board you have the dca board you have the futures grid board and all of that i'll be making videos specifically for all of these um trading boards and how to use them okay so that is how you can assess them if you want to start using the buy bid board you can do that here then if you click on the more tab here you see more options all right more options like dual asset okay dual investment with the buy bid exchange and all of that okay you can participate with bybit dual investment with their launch pool with liquidity mining okay i've made a video on all of this how to end passive income with that okay bybit savings and if you scroll down here you see more options okay if you want to um, take loans with the bybit exchange you can do that okay you see more options here and the rest all right so um basically that is all you need here you can click on any of these menus and see what it talks about but going forward, I will be making videos explaining some of these features or some of these products that Bybit offers 
and how to use them okay then when we scroll down here you see the marketplace okay for buy bid here you see um this um coins that are listed here are according to the category here which is called hot and the one i use the most is the gainers okay i use this one a lot so if i click on gainers this gives me a list of all the coins that are doing very well for that day okay i can either decide to follow the trend or look at the coin and decide to short the um the coin when it gets to a certain level and that all of that okay so you can see all of that here all right so and then beneath that okay you have the home page which is where i've been showing you all of these things okay then after that we'll have the marketplace so if you don't want to access all these hot tokens gainers new listing leaderboard and the rest you can click on the marketplace and still have access to all of that all right so if you click on the marketplace you can see all of the coins okay derivative coins sport trading leaderboards all of that okay if you want btc pairs usdt pairs all of these you can equally get access to that just click on it and filter this the way you want all right then the next step here is the derivatives if you want to trade features just click on derivatives okay so once you click on derivatives it brings you to this page here as you can see i have a trade that is currently ongoing okay I have a trade that is currently ongoing and this is the challenge of turning um ten dollars into a million dollars in one year i made a video about that you can check out the video okay at the top right i'm just showing up there so you can check out that video all right um if i don't fail in this i will see how this turns out to be all right because already i've grown this um uh, ten dollars into something today ten dollars is what bybit will give you as an airdrop all right so if you sign up with my link let me know on the telegram i'll send you the link to claim the airdrop and you can you know join the challenge so this is where you carry out all of your futures trading all right you can either buy long or sell short okay then um you carry out all your trades there then if you want to look at the bybit chart you go to the chart option here i'm going to make specific video about how to you you know trade futures using the bybit exchange okay so this is where you assess the chart and if you want to take your trade you come back to the trade option and take your trade so the bybit app user interface is very friendly it is something even as a newbie you can navigate through okay so i am on the usdt perpetual pair if you want to trade with usdc all right you go ahead and use the usdc if you want to use the inverse option or the option trading you can actually do all of that using the bybit exchange and all of these can be assessed using the derivative tab down here all right now if you want to trade sport and margin the next thing you need to do is to click on trades okay this option here that says trade all right so once you click on trade it brings us to this page here so you see that we only have a column for the chart and for the trade so if you want to take your trade you buy low here you sell high you buy low you sell high this is all about spot trading but one thing you will note here is that here once we click on trades okay at the top left here we have spot trade spot okay then the next one there is trade margin trading and then the trading board that i showed you at the home page you can equally assess that with the trading board here okay so for spot trading we just trade with the capital that we have let's say you have hundred dollars and you put down hundred dollars there whatever set you are buying will only be worth hundred dollars okay so you buy low when the price increases you sell here all right and then you can actually use limit order all right the different types of orders that bybit has is limit market order take profit and stop loss orders and then conditional orders i will explain all of this in a separate video okay they are very easy to use so it is not very confusing okay so if you want to go to the chart you can come in here to the chart and look at the uh, chart of the token you want to trade okay and here you can add indicators okay bollinger bands all of these indicators you can just click on it to add it up to the chart and use it to analyze your market and take your trades okay once you want to take the trade go ahead and click on trade and you can either buy or sell buy or sell okay then if you want to trade margin margin is trading with borrowed money okay if i want to trade um or this bit token for instance you see here it says 5x all right it means that if i put in hundred dollars here i can get up to five times that amount of money all right all you just need to do is to transfer your money here from any wallet where you have it down to the margin wallet and you can start borrowing and trading once you borrow after trading and selling your coin you can you know repay back the money you borrowed and keep 100 percent of the profit to yourself okay so basically that is how the spot trading option works if you want the trading board you can go ahead and click on it to access the trading board all right 
and then the last but not the least thing here is the asset wallet okay which i've showed you already so if i click on asset on the asset here okay once you come to your asset you can click on this um eye icon to review your asset if you want okay or you can leave it hidden all right so you can deposit you can withdraw from here you can transfer from one account to another okay so you have your spot wallet your derivative wallet copy trading wallet your usdc wallet funding wallet and then the end wallet here okay so it all depends if you're investing in the bybit savings and the rest all of your funds will be found on the end wallet maybe you are doing dual investment any of those savings passive income means okay your funds will be found there if you are doing copy trading your funds will be found there to do copy trading on bybit you need a minimum of 50 dollars to be able to copy a trader okay if you are doing futures trading all of your funds will be found there if it is port and margin your funds will be found there and if you have usdc that you want to start trading with all of your funds will be found there if you are doing p2p trading your funds will be found there so basically that is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use the bybit app all right i hope i've been able to touch everything here okay so if you want to contact customer care you can actually click on this icon and for notifications you can click on this and this is to scan your qr code for instance if you want to log into your desktop instead of start typing emails and password you can use this option to log into your desktop directly without typing password and emails okay so basically that is everything you need to know about the bybit app and how to use it i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up and i'll be making specific video on how to trade sport how to trade features going forward using the bybit app um once again bybit is the best exchange out there when it comes to trading fee okay so make sure and the user interface is very friendly make sure you sign up with the link in the video description and i will send you a link personally if you contact me via my uh, telegram group i will send you a link personally to claim some airdrops for yourself that is it and i'll see you guys in the next video